fixing you guys were already short on ball handling. How were you guys able to put it together after the defense got thrown out? Yeah, I thought Josh stepped up. He did a great job for us tonight. Timmy was a committee. Um, you know, we had Wood bring the ball up. Um, Josh played incredible, you know, tonight for us. But I thought, you know, we, we had to bring Luca back a little bit earlier because of the ball handling situation. And I thought he did a really good job of trusting his teammates, uh, especially uh, down the stretch. Uh, Josh made some great plays, you know, for us on both ends of the floor. What was going on through your mind when Blake gets the slide over three there at the end? Yeah, it looked like the Utah uh, game all over again. They ran kind of the same play over the top. We got a good look. We got lucky. Jason, what did you sense was different in clutch time this game after the last few times being close late didn't go your way? When does clutch time start? Five minutes. Five minutes? <laughs> um, well, I think when you look at... Uh, just the uh, calmness, uh, the confidence that that group had on the floor, both ends. Uh, the, you know, the Warriors got great looks. Uh, they missed. Uh, we came up with the rebound. We gave them there one time a couple opportunities. Uh, but we, we got the rebound when we needed. And then, again, Timmy was big, made some big shots for us. You know, tonight, uh, you look at Josh being able to play make and, uh, again, getting to the basket. He's not afraid. And, uh it was, you know, a great team win. Timmy hasn't exactly been hot shooting this season. What, what did you see uh, to, to want to put him into the starting line? What kind of thought process there? He, he was hot. No, he was due. He was due. It, look, uh, it, 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 these guys are human, you know, and we're trying to put these guys in a position to feel good. And, um, and so um, for Timmy, uh, getting him to start to maybe pick up Reggie, um, and he did that tonight. Um, we're going to at some point come back to Reggie, but again, um, when guys are playing well and, you know, Josh is playing well, he, he's going to eat into some minutes of maybe Timmy or Reggie or Doe, um, and that's just, you know, how it, how it looks right now. But I, I thought Timmy played an incredible game. Uh, we had a, a good talk yesterday, um, came into work. <laughs> Uh, whenever you see someone not, you know, shooting the ball well or not playing well and coming in maybe on a day off when you could stay at home, um, he was in there working. And uh, and that's what it takes to sometimes get out of a shooting slump. Uh, you got to put in the extra work. So you'll be juggling Atlanta, Star Atlanta? <clears throat> no. Uh, you guys can stop asking me about the Star lineup too if you want. Some do. So I'm, no, that's just a waste of time. Uh, Jim, but we got nothing but time to waste. <coughs> uh, what were your thoughts when uh, Dan Whitty was uh, ejected from the game? Yeah, I thought um, it showed uh, our depth and it also just showed the confidence in that group because uh, he's one of the playmakers that we have, another guy who will end the game, you know, coming down the stretch and, and Josh steps up um, again. Um, we had a couple turnovers there, but the beauty of Josh, and I thought what he said um, when we took the timeout, is that he was going to get the ball back. Um, that's who he is. Um, uh, I think we all are excited about the growth of seeing someone from when he got drafted to where he is today, and he's gonna, he was in there working yesterday. And uh, as a coach um, and teammates, that's what you want to see is when someone's having success, they are still hungry to continue to keep working, and the hard work is paying off for Josh. Can beating the Warriors, regardless of what the record is, can beating the Warriors do a little something for your team, given what your team's been doing? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we go out back on the road now with Detroit and New York, so we'll see if we can build on this. Uh, that's the world champs, and so um, no matter how they're playing, they're playing extremely well. Um, you know, you got to bring your A game, and we found a way to win tonight. What were you guys doing on both ends of the court to get off to that 17-point lead in the first quarter? Yeah, I thought, again, that group who started the game, uh, in, just like in Toronto, got us off to a good start. Um, we just got to do better in the second. Uh, you know, we only scored 19. And so if we can continue to score, you know, 25 or more, that puts us in a good seat. But that group is getting us off to a good start. And I, I know it's easy to just point one guy out, and that's Luca. You know, he kills the first quarter, and he's continuing to do that. But uh, I think he's got guys coming along. To, to help him out there in that first quarter. 
Just sure. you mentioned it's a full team win and the confidence that the group had, but what are you have, have you been seeing from um, Davis as he gets more minutes? Yeah, I, I, we love Davis, uh, his energy. Um, he's going to play hard. He's going to run the floor, and he's all about team. You know, he's not about himself. Uh, the space and he gives for us and then also just the ability to uh, to make shots and he did that again for us tonight Christian Wood struggled a little bit tonight when he's struggling mid game what's your message to him as a coach yeah you gotta keep playing everyone's gonna struggle uh, that's that's kind of the vibe of our team right now you know and the, the beauty of that is you got um, examples right in front of you or in that locker room of guys struggling that continue to keep working, stay positive, stay together, and uh, it will turn. And so if he was struggling tonight, those guys in that locker room will pick him up. But he has the perfect examples of guys not playing well. Um, you find a way to win, and then you move on to the next day. How do you describe what Luca was able to do out there on another 40 point triple double? Yeah, it's getting boring. <laughs> I mean, what else? Let's see something different. Do something, maybe do it with his left hand. I'm just joking. Um, look, he's one of the best in the world, and uh, that's what he does. You know, we again, I've said this earlier, uh, some of us in this room can take him for granted. The man is special. The guy loves competition. And when you have a triple-double like that, it's not easy because he's marked once he pulls up his, in his car. They're going to have a double team or they're not going to let him play. And uh, he is his growth of getting off the ball and trusting his teammates is at a very high level. I, I know the points. Everybody talks about that. But just playing four on three, sometimes that can be frustrating. Um, but he's trust. He's showing um, maturity and trust in his teammates that they're going to make the right play. Thanks.